I can't shoulder charge him hard as well, right? Oh, God, wait. Oh, shit! Yo! Brother, why are you running? Oh, my God, was he looking for me? <laughs> oh, shit, are they burning? Yo. Yo, he's so mad. Switch, by the way. Why is this guy John Wick or something? Right, champagne, gentlemen. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love a mixed salad. I can stare at it for hours. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome to this video. And in this video, we're going to be showing you how to shoulder charge the hell out of some people. Be an absolute shoulder charge, Sean. Before we get into it, quick reminder to subscribe. Take you one second, click subscribe. Drop a like if you enjoy the content. It really help me out. Drop me a follow on Twitch and come join my Discord. There is a link to the Discord down below in the description and in the comments. Join up. So. First of all, just a look at my Titan. He looks like an absolute uber chad Sigma male right now. Am I wrong? Am I wrong, guys? Peregrine Greaves, the simplest exotic in the game. You jump in the air, you do extra damage with a shoulder charge. Monte Carlo, shoot stuff, get melee energy. Melee stuff, get more damage on your Monte Carlo. Pretty much that simple. Outreach gives us more melee energy. So does melee kickstart. We have 100 strength. All of these things combined together equals a lot of shoulder bashing and charging and a lot of Markov chain times five and just a lot of melee energy is absolutely superb. Where are you looking, brother? I'm right behind you. Oh my goodness. Yes, this thing is just an absolute dream combination. And if you're missing shoulder charge and you're like, well, I can't one hit kill shoulder charge anymore. Well, actually you can. All it takes is to hop in a skip with the Peregrine Greaves and basically back where you started, my friends. And not only that, if someone pops a roaming super in front of you, they are in big, big trouble. And even more so, even blueberries aren't safe. Boom. You were in my way, son. You were looking at me the wrong way, man. I did not like the cut of your jib. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I didn't mean to do it, but listen, it happened and it was great. But basically, you can still do what you used to. Now, I'm not just going to blow smoke up your backside, though. I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes, and I don't know if it was more apparent with Sentinel Shield Bash, but... It feels like they really want this to be a movement mode now. They want you to be a movement Mitchell now with this stuff. And what I mean by that is it's really hesitant to actually hit them. <laughs> That's what I was finding. Like I would be like making a beeline for someone like straight on ahead to them. And I would just like go past them and it wouldn't connect. And I think that has been done to kind of encourage the use of it as a movement tool, which is what I would personally actually want to use it for. Like, this is not my regular playstyle, like running around going for one hit kills with a shoulder charge. But I wanted to pull it off because obviously I know that a lot of people enjoy doing this. And I wanted to show a build where basically it's almost like nothing changed. Obviously, some things have changed. They have tweaked the shoulder charge. And I don't know, I, the way I read the changes that they had for shoulder charge on the offensive side of things, it sounded to me like they really dialed up the tracking and the hit reg to make up for the fact that it's not a one hit. But they may need to relook at it because the tracking does not actually seem that great. Like sometimes you'll do some crazy stuff and track someone who's really far away. Then a lot of the other times, like right there, you just sail over their head. And I, per it's, it's kind of a tricky one because I personally don't mind that, right? Because I want to use it like that to juke people. But if you are going for those direct shots, it will probably be a little bit of an issue. I think one thing you could try and do is like jump at the last second maybe or try and jump as low as you can because you do have to jump to generate the extra damage with peregrine greaves right 
If you're not jumping, then it's just a regular shoulder charge. So basically every shoulder charge you make, you want to do it in the air. So I started to have more success with it the more I played by kind of just waiting until I was kind of on a level footing with whoever I'm shoulder charging. But again, like, you know, you can't really be too, uh, you know, lazy or slow with uh, your attempt to shoulder charge someone, right? Because, you know, you are running straight up to them and maybe, just maybe, they have a shotgun equipped and maybe, just maybe, they're going to shove it up your ass and fucking send you uh, back to the respawn screen for attempting to point blank melee them with a shoulder charge. I simply have to roast people right now who have complained about shoulder charge in the past as being overpowered. Listen, man. I, I need some spicy comments. I need some. I need to drop spicy for me saying this. If you agree, if you think shoulder charge being a one hit is overpowered, you are just bad at the game. Oh, yeah, that's my hot take. And if you agree, drop a spicy in the comment section because I believe that, that is not really that spicy, but it's extra spicy. You know what I'm saying? There's some people just, I don't know, dude. I kind of feel bad for the shoulder charge Harrys out there, man. Who no longer feel like they can do what they used to, but with this build, you kind of can. And, you know, I haven't even talked about it yet, but Monte Carlo is the shoulder charger's dream weapon now, especially now with these, uh, you know, longer cooldowns. And at that point, if you're going for one hit kill shoulder charge, right? Do you, like, you know, you don't need to use Aya Saluna or, you know, you don't need to use the most meta shit in the game. If you're already going for shoulder charges, you might as well commit to the full build and run Monte Carlo. So many times I would get a kill with Monty and it would just fill my melee back up to full. And even if it doesn't, just landing hits with this gun gives you melee energy and when you stack that with 100 strength and melee kickstart and outreach well my shoulder charge uptime was very high so basically what i'm saying is there is still build potential for you to shoulder charge all game long now guys check out my merch dfpmerch.shop i'd be really really happy to pick some merch up check out battle beaver customs code dfp for a discount over there same for my homies at evolve pcs code dfp or a discount if you want a beefy PC for your streaming slash gaming needs. They have got you covered. And last but not least, focus up with Advanced GG. Use my code DFP for a discount on that as well. And that's it from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll probably be live on my Twitch stream right now if you want to come over and say hello, twitch.tv. Forward slash shake. Love to see you there. Peace out. Much love.